Bake this in a baking tray and have people confuse banana bread for fudge brownie. Hi there, my name is Onye from Bacon Tasties and I'm here to show you how to make this delicious fudgy banana bread. In a bowl, add your butter and sugar and cream until they are light, pale and fluffy. Your mixture should look somewhat like this before you add your bananas and eggs mix them until they are well blended i have always said i do not like to mash my bananas before i add them to the mixture because i believe that while blending them in my mixer will do a good job mashing the bananas and also i like to see chunks of bananas when i'm done baking I'll be mixing my dry ingredients together, which are the flour, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon, salt if you're using unsalted butter, and uh, cocoa powder. I added cocoa powder to enhance the taste of the chocolates and to also help with darkening the final product so I can get a rich chocolate brown finished product. So you're alternating the dry ingredients and buttermilk in three additions only and you're starting with and ending with the dry ingredients. There is no need to thoroughly mix the mixture before adding the other alternations so that um, you can avoid over mixing the batter. It was only three weeks ago while I was adding different toppings to my banana muffins that I had a bite of the Nutella banana muffin and it was so delicious that it opened up my senses to a new world of banana bread. I am so happy to develop this recipe and share it to the world so that they can experience it. So now is the time to add our Nutella to the mixture. You can use a hundred to two hundred gram of this, and you can even add as much as you want because this recipe allows for it. I was chocolate crazy at this point, so I equally added my chocolate chips to the mixture. So feel free to add whatever thing that comes to your mind. If you are as chocolate crazy as I am, add your bittersweet chocolate bars, add whatever, make it exciting and tell me how yours turned out. All done. Now you can add it to your preferred prepared pan, be it loaf or muffin or whatever. I'll be using a loaf pan anyway. You can top your cake with um, some chocolate chips like I am doing. You can also use some um, coconut shaving, some sliced or thinly sliced bananas, whatever works for you, but just make it look so attractive that your friends and your guests will not be able to resist. Not a fan of chocolate? We've got you covered. You can click on the link in the caption to get our banana bread without chocolates. Wow, this looks absolutely amazing. But wait till we bake it. Okay, so this is how it turned out. It's expected that it shrinks when it's out of the oven, but don't worry, this is completely normal. Now, having the first slice, look how fudgy, how soft, and how sticky it looks. Trust me, this tastes amazing. It is very delicious. I even watched my friends argue if this is a bread, a cake, or a brownie because it's absolutely moist and fudgy. I hope you learned something from this video. Please give me a like. Thank you so much. Bye.